Hello and welcome to another Formstack product demo. Today we're going to be working with our Salesforce native application, our Formstack docs, and our Formstack sign e-signature product. So the use case that we're working with is that we are going to collect data on a particular form that once submitted is going to create a record uh, within Salesforce uh, and then once that record is created it will then also generate a waiver document that will have the information from the form uh, put into a wonderful template uh, and then we'll have e-signature tag at the bottom for the parent to sign and then once they sign that document it will then be put back onto the record within Salesforce. So let's just go ahead and get right into it, take a look at uh, how the process rolls, and then we'll take a look at the back end. So here we have our form information filled out, and then so when we go ahead and hit send, what'll happen is form will submit, take it out to the email address that I put in as the parent. Uh, we now have our please review and sign already in our inbox. We'll click on here, It'll give us a link into the sign platform, which then I'll be able to see the quick release of liability for minor participants the document that I'm working with template. It actually has um, my name, so Mr. David Tessman, and uh, we'll be able to roll through. And down at the bottom, it has a click to sign and the date of when I'm signing. So I'll just go ahead and click here. I can either write my name or if I choose, I can do draw signature. Uh, use my mouse or if I'm on mobile I can use my finger. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit apply. Once done it'll prompt us to submit the document. Once we submit a couple things are happening. Um, already we have a record that's been created onto, uh, within Salesforce but now this document that's signed is actually being put back onto Salesforce and then if I go back into my inbox as the parent I also now have a copy that showed up as a as the PDF for me to keep for my files. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, at that actual record within Salesforce here. So David Tessman, we'll go ahead and do a little refresh. David Tessman's here, and it has all the information that I entered here. And then down at the bottom under Notes and Attachments, which can also be set to files, um, I'm going to go ahead and click to make sure. Sure enough, there's my PDF that I have. And if I scroll down, there it is, my signature. So I now have the signed copy of the document that we just had, uh, that we just signed, attached back onto Salesforce. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, about how we get this all set up. So the first thing that we do is we're going to go within our Salesforce app, our SF app as we call it. And uh, we just want to be able to create a particular form, set up the data model any way that you like. Once you have your form, set up. Uh, the next thing that we need to be able to do is we want to be able to create uh, a document out of it. This is a new feature that we're really excited about is the new documents tab uh, available directly within our, our Salesforce app. And so when we click on here, it's going to bring it up with a couple options. One, you're going to be able to quickly create a new document, which will kick us into our docs platform so that we can generate a new one. Or if you already have a document you've been working on, you can edit. For this demo, I'm going to click edit, but then still show you how you'd be able to create a brand new document. So first thing first is we want to be able to name what our document is going to be called. So we just are going to call it waiver form for event registration. So in step one and step two, it's going to have you connect to your documents account. You will click this drop down box here in which then will have you authenticate. And then so now you have a couple options. Uh, once you're signed in, you can either create a new document directly uh, from within here, or if you have a document already within your Docs account, you can choose it. But let's say we want to go ahead and get our document created, uh, and we click on that button. It'll actually take us out into our Documents account, which then we can click New Document, so that way we can either upload our own templates, we can create using one of the templates that we've already uh, put in place for you within the platform, or you can start from scratch and use our wonderful document builder. Completely up to you. In this case, I actually up already uploaded uh, a template that I want to use called exactly the waiver form for event registration. When I go in, I'm able to uh, manage my file. Uh, we do offer a little bit of a WYSIWYG. So if you're using a Word document, you can do some edits online and get your merge fields in there. Uh, we can adjust our settings so that way it outputs to a PDF. 
And then the big thing that we really need to make sure that we're checking here is our deliver tab. So when we go to deliver, the two things that we need to make sure that we set up so that one, when the, gener when the form is submitted, the document is generated, and it comes with a signature tag, is to make sure that we have our delivery. So when we go to new delivery, we will choose our form stack signed. And then also, since after it gets signed, I need to go back to Salesforce, I also need to set up a delivery under new delivery to Salesforce. So let's go under sign, we'll tap our edit, and we'll go ahead and name our subject. And this is what's going to come across in the email that gets sent to the person who needs to sign the document. Uh, it'll have you select your account. And so just choose your, your sign account. And then now for the signer, you can either uh, write it in uh, static with just a name, or you can use uh, the actual uh, merge fields within your document uh, to make it a more dynamic field. Same deal for the email of where it needs to get sent. You can also then add additional participants if you need to have multiple signers. The other thing that we need to make sure that's really important here is under more options, there is one that's called delay other deliveries until signing is complete. So once we set up our Salesforce uh, delivery back, this will pop up and I've set some particular rules so that once, uh, once it's signed, it knows to just search and contact for the email and that it equals basically my merge field for email, and it knows to where to attach that. So once I have that to delay deliveries, I'm good to go, and I can click Save Delivery. And then again, I already have my Salesforce set up. So now, the next thing is, is um, that's if you needed to create, but let's say I already have that already built out, I'm ready to go. I can just, within my Salesforce app, now we're back into this little Documents tab, I can actually just do the drop down and choose the document that I need to work with. Once selected, it'll automatically bring up the merge fields from your document on the left-hand side here, and then you're able to choose the fields within your form that need to match up to it. And then all you have to do is go through and map those fields. And this will work perfectly fine with one object or if you're working with child objects, not a problem at all. You're actually able to go through and choose any object that's on your form and it'll automatically map it back over to your document. Once you're done, all we need to do is set how we want to have this saved. So which record does this need to attach to? I'm having it go back to contact. Um, then you can choose whether or not it needs to go to Salesforce files, uh, obviously for space, or it can go to notes and attachments. Completely up to you. Once complete, hit save document. You are now ready. You've created your form. You've created your document. You have now linked up and mapped all your fields, and you have your delivery set to both uh, sending out to uh, form stack sign as well as back to Salesforce.